Hey guys, so we are back with another reading. This one is going to be how do they see you? So kind of like how they perceive you, how they think of you and feel about you, but like, I don't know, just kind of how you exist in their mind, I guess, if that makes sense. So we are going to get into it today. I am so excited for our food selection. We usually do sweets, so I figured we'd go for more of a healthy and savory option. So today we've got sushi, um, and I am really excited to use these. I love these ones. So we are starting from the salmon roll, number one, number two, number three and number four and I am going to also show you guys up close so if you don't want to see it up close you could pause now and just look over the energy some more but let's get into it this one is the salmon roll so you can see all the details this one is tuna it's kind of hidden like tucked up in there but yeah I think it's tuna this one, I'm not totally sure. I think it could be eel or maybe uni or even like crawfish or something. I, I really don't know. And finally, we have the row one. So hopefully one is already jumping out to you. If not, feel free to take as much time as you need. Pause the video, rewind, whatever you guys need to do. Um, but I am going to be quiet now and let you guys tune in to the energy. Okay, so hopefully one is jumping out to you already. If you need a little more time, again, feel free to rewind and then pause. But let's go ahead and jump into pile one. Hello, my beautiful pile ones. So if you guys pick this salmon sushi roll, this is going to be your reading. I love this one. This would probably be my choice. Just I love just like a kind of traditional plain salmon roll. So definitely appreciate the choice I pre pulled your cards so let's get right into them so we started out with the strength card reversed the king of cups the devil and the nine of swords so just starting out I can tell that this person thinks of you a lot they um, feel very drawn to you um, to them you are very much a temptation so i'm interested in hearing exactly kind of how they view you because even though you are a temptation i'm not sure if that's because you guys are like really sexy or maybe you guys are innocent and they're really drawn to that so we're gonna pull some more cards and see what comes out i'm feeling like you guys are innocent honestly i'm already getting that vibe that you guys are very innocent sweet like and they are really turned on by that so that's why i think the devil card is funny because i think that's more so their perception of things you know their experience of you but not how they see you like i feel like they see you as being very innocent but let's go into more of the cards so we got journey and celebration so i feel like when you entered this person's life they were very much kind of thrilled to finally meet someone like you like they had been waiting for you for a long time is what i'm hearing and i feel like what i'm hearing is like it's not over to them i think they still actively think about you i actually think they spend a lot of sleepless nights as we can see in the nine of swords thinking about you and i feel like they are still very committed to the idea that you guys are going to end up together so I'm hearing that line from the notebook like it's uh, what did he say it's not over it still isn't over like I feel like that's what this person would be saying to themselves they are very much thinking about kind of like how to get you back you know why what they did wrong playing replaying things over and over in their mind again even though like so far a lot of the cards have been like we got the devil card we got strength reversed 
it's not necessarily alluding to innocence but i get the vibe psychically that you guys are very innocent like i feel like you guys at least they view you as being very sweet innocent pure and not not in like a a gross way of like oh they're really young and i'm into that like i feel like they just you guys have kept your purity and you guys have kept you know a lot of times like the cruelty of the world can weigh on us um, but we can keep track of that little morsel even when we're going through so much pain we can keep that little morsel of like you know being excited about the world and seeing the good in others and having that kind of childlike innocence and i feel like that's what you guys exude and this person is really into that i feel like you guys are real sweethearts like i feel like you guys you're the type that would like save like i'm seeing someone like saving like even like a plant <laughs> like not even like a bug but like a plant and being like oh my god like it's its leaf was slightly like bruised and we have to save it so i feel like you guys are kind of like might be animal lovers or you guys are just very sweet i feel like that's what this person really likes about you so we also got relationship patterns it takes strength to recognize the need for change and we also got honesty and is essential speak with truth and love so with the devil card here there might have been some dishonesty on this person's part there might have been um or on your part i'm not sure but i i feel like it's more this person like reflecting on what they did wrong in the relationship um and yeah i feel like they they wish they had been more honest and they're kind of like i feel like maybe they knew these things had to change but sometimes when we have a soulmate relationship crash and burn those kinds of relationships like yeah you cared before but it, it really takes a soulmate relationship to push us fully into change it's kind of like you know if your parents are trying to teach you like my parents would tell me like oh i didn't get dinner or something if i um if i like really did something really bad and like for the nights when it was something really nasty because my mom served pretty healthy food i was like okay i don't care you know but when it was like taco night or pizza night i would have been beside myself i don't think i ever like acted up around those times because i wanted the tacos and the pizza so much and you guys are like the tacos and the pizza like you guys are that incentive that this person needed to change those things in their life but i feel like this person just doesn't feel strong enough to reach out and to actually have you so we also got the ten of cups and we got the three of pentacles reversed which is interesting um yeah i feel like so this person really wanted a like a like this person really saw you as being i mean the like the uh, it's almost like the culmination of everything they wanted like the dream you know like they had i feel like they had tried to manifest someone like you they might have made a list of like qualities you want in a boyfriend or a girlfriend you know and um they were like looking out but they were kind of like well i mean i'm not going to meet someone that like has all of this and then they met you and it was like what what where did this person come from like i feel like they almost feel like you were sent from heaven kind of like you guys um they feel like you were such a blessing in their life and I also think they just foresaw a future like they didn't think it couldn't well I don't think they were that self-assured but I feel like they they would have wanted things to progress to like a very serious level with you like I feel like they would have wanted things to move to very serious relationship status again I'm getting such a young energy through this pile that maybe you guys weren't at the age when you were like planning marriage either like even on your own you know but um i feel like like this person felt that way about you that would have led maybe down the road to a marriage proposal or something certainly they felt stronger about you than anyone they've ever else been with so we also got the ace of wands so yeah this person has a lot of sexual desire for you i feel like you are like a temptation for this person um they see you as very very sexy um and i also feel like they i kind of skipped over the three of pentacles i feel like this 
person it's almost like they wanted you on their team you know what I mean they saw this possibility of like so much teamwork and like we could really be so good together and we would work so well and if we could just be together like we could really just have this beautiful thing and then that didn't happen and this person is very like a little bit shocked I feel like they didn't imagine that things couldn't work out we also got the golden ball which I believe is a falafel so I love this deck it's like a food deck it's kind of funny it's not super traditional um, oracle wise but you know I figured since I always do food readings I get the food deck and I feel like it just sums up their idea of you like the golden ball to me that means you know the most it's like the golden snitch in Harry Potter you know like the most prized item I guess and so to them you really were super special um, and they just viewed you as really amazing in every way um, so we also got emotional freedom reversed and man holding a coin um, so I feel like this person, yeah, they had, I mean, I, I feel like this person feels like, I feel like you have stirred up a lot of their emotions. You know, you have made them really experience a lot of feelings that they might have tried to like tamp down in a way. I feel like you woke them up. Like they were kind of just going through life, just, and it was like, you just shook them out of it. Everything. You know what I mean? Um, I honestly feel like this person is probably very much obsessed with you like I, I'm what's coming to mind is some something I saw written online from some guy and he was like I was so into this girl but I blew it and he was talking about it and I don't know where I even stumbled across this but not to go over the details of that because they're not really relevant but I just feel like this person like it's that type of energy that they would be writing posts like that of like I can't believe I ruined this relationship. She was the perfect one for me and I, you know, blew it or he blew, or he was the perfect one, but like I feel like this person just really reminisces about you and feels this huge loss. And I I also feel like they just don't feel strong enough to fix things. Um but we got look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So this person's feelings are really, really strong for you. We also got new love and we got heart, love, deep affection and caring, beetle, good fortune and harp, great happiness. So again, this person views you as just such a blessing for them. I also feel like they, so I feel like a lot of times spirit does this where they like they just change the topic and they just do they just talk about what they want to talk about which i guess is more talking about your person's view of things but what i'm getting is that this person sees you as being very sweet and innocent i feel like there's something about your skin that this person really likes and kind of like your facial bone structure like i'm seeing that area in like the nose and the cheeks you know what I mean? So you guys might have like kind of plump cheeks or a really small nose or really nicely shaped nose or something. But, and some of you guys might have freckles because I'm kind of seeing freckles. But I just feel like this, they view you as being, oh, it's getting kind of dark. I hope you guys can still see the weather has been so crazy lately. But I do think that this person they see you as being very innocent very sweet and also very in touch with the earth i keep getting that like you guys might have a lot of animals or just be very connected to animals you might be one of those people where you know like if there's a stray cat this cat will come up to you or if there's a dog maybe the owner is like oh well they don't like most people don't be offended if the dog barks at you and you guys are just like the dog comes over and is so sweet to you and like loves you you know because I just feel like you guys they see you as almost like an earth mother type of energy like very earthy but also in a very young way like not so much the mother figure just that you guys are very connected to the earth and very um naturalistic i guess or very connected and sweet to animals i feel like you guys just have a very open heart chakra you guys are very connected to the world towards everyone
Like you guys might be the type to cry very easily during a movie or even during like a commercial, kind of like cry at the drop of a hat or during songs. Just very emotional people. You could be water signs, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios, or I'm also getting kind of Libra energy. Um, I just feel like you guys give off it's almost like they want to protect you you know and even though they see you as very sexually tempting and alluring the vibe i'm getting is it's more along the lines of you guys are so like pure and they really like that about you um they see you as just being very like innocent in a way like you guys are connected to your emotions you guys are still see the beauty in the world you guys still see the humanity in people and like if someone's in pain you're in pain you know you guys haven't become like cold or closed off or shut your emotions down like you guys have an open heart chakra and they really appreciate that about you i think it brings out their protective nature but the only thing is i feel like this person it's almost like this relationship has made them beat themselves up because i feel like they feel that they didn't handle themselves well and they feel like like I, I i actually pulled a couple more cards and i was asking spirit like okay what do they feel about them what how do they view them how do they view pile one and they just kept coming up with like all these sad cards like and i just feel like they you know it's almost like that's just what they want you to know is is that they are very sad and they are definitely mourning the loss of this relationship to them this was something that they really thought was going to last a long time i really think that they had imagined being with you long term so the relationship progressing to the point of being in a committed relationship and possibly even marriage one day like that would be the track that it was on i don't know if this person actually thought about marriage but I feel like they thought about being in a serious relationship with you for sure and it would be the kind of serious relationship that would lead to marriage whether they planned it out now or not that's just the depth of their feelings for you so to them i still feel like they 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 kind of are still committed to being with you but then there's also this feeling of powerlessness and they feel like they don't know what to do don't know how to reach out don't know how to fix things and i feel like that is why this person is so frustrated um and it's almost like their emotions are just going crazy you know i feel like in a way they really respect that you handle your emotions so well um, and you guys are very in tune with your emotions but i feel like your emotions don't ruin you like you guys again you guys might be water signs or have water dominant in your chart because i feel like you guys even though you're emotional it's not like you know how to handle it you know um and i see that a lot in like cancer scorpios and pisces where you know they're so used to like crying after a movie that it doesn't phase them when they have to cry like some people their emotions are so cut off that when they feel sad or upset or angry they're bowled over by it they don't know how to handle it but a lot of water signs you know they're used to going through that roller coaster of emotions so it really doesn't actually phase them as much and they're just kind of accept that that's part of the process you know and i feel like that that's the energy you guys have where you guys are very like emotion is okay I, i'm okay to feel all the things and this person i feel like they had never really used their emotions like that or felt or allowed themselves to feel like that so the fact that you guys brought that out for them um it was really amazing for them but also now I feel like in a way like they got a lot from you being so open with your emotions you know what I mean like you you being so okay with feeling sad feeling upset really inspired them and they were like oh like I can react that way like it's not the end of the world if if I if I have to cry you know and so now that you're out of their life it's like now they're back to square one you know they no longer have you as this model of um of how they can handle their emotions and how they can move through the world we just got 
stuck in the mud and that's definitely the perfect feeling for how this person feels um i feel like they just really feel like they don't know what to do they really want to reach out but then it's like they they're really just not sure what to say so we also got listening and magic prayer so i do think i wouldn't be surprised if if some of them are in like a traditional religious background so maybe they're christian or muslim or jewish or whatever i feel like this person probably does pray about you you know um and i also feel like they listen to music and think about you there's a lot of thinking about you that's coming through there's a lot of just reminiscing about you um and i feel like this person yeah like you are a major factor in their life they definitely spent a lot of nights thinking about you spirit can we get any cards about how this person views pile one can we get any cards about how this person views pile one? Oh my god we got the lovers reversed wow so yeah their feelings for you are so strong it's it's really crazy and i mean that's all they want to talk about like is it <laughs> Ten of Cups, like it's like I'm asking how they view you, but all they want to talk about is, you know, how much they how much they had wanted it to be a relationship and how much they care about you and how sad they are that it's not worked out. Um, okay, so finally we got some cards that I think apply to you and I'm not surprised. It's the Queen of Cups. So as I was saying, very emotional, very um, emotionally mature and very centered in your emotions and capable of managing your emotions and we got the ace of cups so yeah they see you as very emotional and i i feel like that brings out their protective instinct it's almost like the vibe i'm getting and it's not quite like a manic pic manic pixie dream girl but it's just that they see you as being very young very innocent you know how in all those movies with a manic pixie dream girl she's very kind of like fancy free emotional sweet generally she's the type of girl that would like you know um feed the birds at the park or something i don't know but like would always be sweet and looking out for others and you guys definitely have that energy and i feel like also the manic pixie dream girls um they're very like youthful in their energy like they're still very whimsical they still have like oh my god let's play on the play set of the playground or whatever like let's play on the swings or something and i feel like you guys are a little more mature than that but that you guys have that youthful way of looking at the world like you guys aren't jaded you guys don't view things as like who cares been there done that you guys are still in a very youthful energy in that sense of being very um open to the world impressed with the world like seeing th things through fresh eyes and i feel like this person really loves that about you this person i i almost feel like they might be a little jaded they might be the kind of person who's done a lot seen it all and it's like when they're around you you take them back to that stage of life when everything was new and fresh and everything was like oh that's awesome you know it's it's so funny how like I was thinking that there was this park my parents used to take us to when we were little and it's granted like a really cool big park but we used to go crazy about going to this park I mean we would we would like lose our minds when we would get to go to the park because it was a little far away but um, whenever we would go it was like Christmas and we'd just be like running all over the stuff I had a lot of siblings so like you know it was a little bit of madness and um, and I was thinking we went back as adults just to like reminisce and of course all of us were like oh okay cool and we like looked around for like you know two minutes and we were like okay should we leave like no no one cared about being on the swings or the little dragon thing they had or like the really elaborate like ropes course we just didn't care you know we're like adults we have other stuff to do we have other th interesting things going on and it's so funny how like a kid can be impressed by everything they see magic everywhere and i feel like that's you guys like you guys are like that little kid energy of just like loving the world and loving things and being so excited about things you know and i feel like you bring that energy out to them and the funny thing is is that they're very sexually attracted to that 
they see you as very tempting and very sexual as a result. Again, I feel like there's this misunderstanding in our society that in order to be sexy, someone has to be like very kind of jaded acting like whatever, I've been there, done that, and I've done it all, and I'll show you. But it's not true, and a lot of people actually can be very sexually alluring when they have um, just an attitude of like almost like purity not to sound gross but just or weird but just like they you know they feel like everything is special and everything is meaningful and like that can mean a lot to people you know when you're having a sexual experience it's kind of nice to know that like oh this means a lot to them and you know their emotion and heart is in it so i feel like that's what you guys bring out like um, even though you guys have this youthful energy, this person is very sexually turned on by you and sees you as being very sexually powerful, um, which you might be. Again, like it's a misconception that in order to be sexually potent, you have to have had a lot of sex or have be very like, oh, I've done that, I've, I've done this. It's not true. You can be very sexually potent and maybe have never slept with anyone your whole life you know what i mean and you can just be building up that energy and conserving it it's it's totally you know either way works so i feel like you guys are definitely the type that this person perceives you at least as not having slept with a lot of people but they are definitely excited by that i feel like again because it's this whole way of viewing the world of like oh that's awesome oh I, I haven't tried that and i'm excited kind of a thing you know when you've never tried something it's always more exciting in a way not to be going on some rant about virginity or whatever but i i just what's coming up in the reading and so i feel like yeah this person is very turned on by the way you guys view the world even if you guys aren't virgins which is totally fine either way i mean no judgment on my part but i just feel like they see you as someone that would be having that energy and that enthusiasm during sex and just during all your interactions that you would be like excited to be there <laughs> kind of a thing you know what i mean so yeah i i hope that made sense and resonated you guys please let me know if it did in the comments um and make sure to like and subscribe i post these videos every few days so if you want to see more um, make sure you're subbed and i will see you guys in the next reading take care bye hello my lovely pile two so if you guys picked this tuna roll this is going to be your reading it's kind of a dim light the sun just kind of went behind a cloud but you can kind of see the little tuna um cube that's inside the little leaf um it's really cute i would definitely order that in a restaurant so let's get into your reading i pre-pulled some cards for you guys um and so you guys got the eight of swords temperance the world the eight of wands the nine of pentacles reversed and the four of swords so first of all i feel like this person you know they still have the intention to come towards you they very much are still hoping that things will be able to work out but i feel like they feel they're not ready to come to you they're kind of asking for a little more time but as far as their feelings towards you they definitely feel them very strongly they definitely see you as someone who is really amazing and just brings so much to the table um i feel like in a way you might seem like i feel like you seem very exciting to this person almost like some of you guys might be from another culture or you just bring out this excitement to them or another country um but it's also like i feel that you bring something unexpected to them like they are still kind of like oh my god what is it about this person like you kind of keep them on their toes almost is the energy i'm getting where they never know quite what to expect you guys might be really funny or something like really quick-witted because i feel like they yeah they get a kick out of you it's, it's almost like i'm hearing that frank sinatra song i get a kick out of you and he says like i get no kick from champagne mere alcohol doesn't thrill me at all and then i don't know the rest of the lyrics but 
it's like, but I get a kick out of you. So he has all these great things in his life, but they're kind of boring compared to the girl. And I feel like that's you, like you have brought out this new side to this person. And I'm going to show you the tuna now that it's lightened up a little because some of my viewers do like the food. So anyway, there it is. Hopefully you guys saw it. Let me get the other cards out. So we also got, okay, I don't know which one was supposed to be. I think it was this way. So we got solitude reversed and then we got magical gateway. So yeah, I feel like they, you know, magic would be a good word for kind of the vibe I'm getting of how they view you. Like, I feel like they see you as very exciting. You guys might be a fire sign, like a Leo, a Sag, an Aries, but that's the energy I'm getting. Like, and we did get the eight of wands, which is related to fire. Cause I do feel like you guys just bring this spark, like the unexpected to them. You know, I feel like they see you as someone that just, opens up like this new world for them like it's almost like their world was boring or it's like you know in the wizard of oz how it was filmed in black and white in the first half when they're in kansas and then they go to oz and everything's in color and everything's so like bright and vibrant and that's kind of like you like you opened this new dimension to them and suddenly i feel like they realize how alone they were and now that you're gone or if you guys aren't together i do feel like this person is kind of mourning the loss of you they're not really wanting to be alone and it does cause them pain to be separated from you so we got december that might be important to one of you guys it might be where when you guys met or one of your birth dates or it might be an important date for like reunions um but yeah we got claw be careful do not take risks money path a path with money is waiting for you to find it not unsuccessful plans and skull hidden secrets can harm you so we got a lot of negative cards which doesn't surprise me because i think that this person just feels very negative about this separation that you guys are in i mean i feel like i don't know if you guys are in a relationship maybe you guys got in a fight or an argument or something um but or this person just isn't happy with their part of things but i do feel like there's a lot of energy in here of almost like beating themselves up or being like oh like i should have done this i should have done that kind of like they're going over their behavior and maybe they're not fully satisfied with what they are seeing um i do think this person like their intentions were to be with you and it's like they i do think we got money path because i think this person is trying to work on themselves in a lot of ways financially and otherwise in order to kind of come back to you so it's like they're kind of trying to scheme and figure out like well how can i fix this um but it's always funny when we do these readings that i think a lot of times someone some people find it easier to focus on getting money or getting themselves into good shape or like a million other little things other than just reaching out to the person you know like you would think that would be option one like oh, i miss this person let me text them but no a lot of people a lot of guys honestly especially will end up being like you know that's too risky so instead i'm just gonna overhaul my whole career <laughs> which seems a lot more difficult to me than just sending a text but i think it's it's that they feel very vulnerable when they really like someone um so we got the divine feminine reversed so that's really interesting um so since this is how they view you maybe you guys because i'm getting the vibe of like again fiery like you guys always have something going on maybe you guys are kind of like party girls or they see it as you guys have some bad habits that like they would want you to change but i almost feel like they secretly like that you know those guys who have girlfriends that kind of like boss them around <laughs> or girls who have boyfriends that are kind of like the bad boy and everyone's like why are they with them or like whatever like oh they're just not you know like or the the boyfriend or the girlfriend will be like they're not treating me right and you're like but you're but you're so in love with them you know and i feel like this person while they may like complain or be like well they're too wild or something they really like it they are very excited by it but they might like put on a front to others or to themselves about like 
well they need to change and stuff so we also got the stack and the pressed one so you guys might be kind of like curvaceous or like stacked <laughs> you know you guys might have like a banging body that is in really good shape I'm, I'm also hearing some of you guys might work on your fitness and have like defined muscles um so take what resonates but i can see kind of like lines for both of these items and so i feel like maybe some of you have really defined abs or arms or just like lines on your body you know even if you don't have super big muscles maybe you just have kind of like one of those bodies where your arms are like really um like lean or something and they make a straight line you know what i mean so you have like those kinds of lines um but then others of you i feel like if you guys are curvy it would definitely at least how this person views it is in all the right places like you guys might really have a booty or a bust or it's just you know it, whatever you guys have going on this person does like it a lot um I feel like you guys might have like like I feel like you guys might be a little bit feisty <laughs> this person is saying maybe you guys had kind of like play arguments or you guys would like kind of have like a banter where you know one person would say something and the other person would be like oh that band is the worst or something or like oh that tv show is so stupid and and that's kind of how you guys flirted like kind of like other people would be like are they fighting or like what's going on why are they <laughs> why are they arguing and people are like oh no they're just flirting that's that's how they they're just they do that all the time they, they're they always looking at each other with kind of stars in their eyes and then they like have these little back and forth but um it might like come off to others almost like banter or an argument or something so then we got chop wood reversed and happy happy reversed so again, this person, like, uh, I keep getting that they really want to be, I feel like they are just working on themselves. They would like to be financially stable to get with you. Um, so it's always funny to me when this comes up a lot in readings, because to me, like, I'm, I'm such a Pisces and I can be so unrealistic and I'm like, if you're in love, just go live in like a cardboard shack. <laughs> but when I think about it, I know that that is true and it's a good strategy, especially if you are like financially really badly off, you know, things like credit scores exist. And even if you are like the guy, you've got to like take the girl out on the date and pay for it, you know? So, um, so that's like a concern and y you know, you might be stressing about that if you really like a girl, like you don't want to take her out to like Applebee's maybe, maybe you do. I love Applebee's, so I wouldn't mind going out to those kinds of restaurants. I think they're fun, but you know, um, maybe, you know, you feel self-conscious and you want to go to the nicest place in town kind of a thing. Like when you really like someone, you know, you want to give them the best. So I feel like that's coming through that this person, they just don't feel like they're at the place in their life that they would want to be to get with you and I, I don't think it just has to do with financial I feel like overall they're trying to like work on themselves they're kind of trying to like glow up they could be working on their fitness or just working on themselves like in general you know let me see so we got acceptance is the key to inner peace at times we must accept things as they are there is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control so I feel like this person needs to work on a little bit of self-acceptance. Yeah, I feel like this relationship has almost sometimes brought out um, like a very self-critical attitude from them. I don't know if they've always been that way, but I feel like in a way it's like they really liked you so much that... Um, it, it made them look at themselves almost through a magnifying glass of like, oh, this is wrong with me. I need to change this. What about this? Um, yeah, it, I always give the metaphor of like, imagine if your celebrity crush wanted to date you, whoever it is. Um, imagine if they literally like rolled up and was like outside your door and was like, hey, can I take you on a date? And you knew you weren't being punked or on a hidden camera show or something like they were serious and somehow they want like suddenly you might think that's a dream but then suddenly you'd be probably looking at yourself in the mirror being like oh my god like 
damn, I wanted a couple more weeks to work on my summer body or uh, like I really should have gotten my hair, you know, roots dyed earlier or ooh man, I wish I had more expensive makeup or better lingerie or whatever before the date. You know what I mean? You would be a lot, a lot more critical than if you were just going out with someone from down the street that you kind of felt lukewarm about, you know? So I feel like this person's feelings for you are very strong and so it has made them enter into a very self-critical attitude. So we got, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Again, I feel like this person is just comparing themselves a lot to you and this is like a message from spirit to them about how, like I feel like they kind of lift you up on a pedestal a little bit um, and compare themselves to you a lot. So, you know, spirit is trying to tell them like, calm down a little bit and don't have that attitude. Make the effort. I do think this person is act actively making the effort and trying to make themselves better to get to you. Like that's coming through really strong. This person is trying for it. They are working on themselves. I don't know if you can hear my little air conditioner thing just shut off. But anyway, um, they are working on themselves. They are trying to make themselves better for you. And they are actively taking part in, you know, analyzing themselves and kind of like, okay, I could go to the gym or I could do this. I could do that. So yeah, that is just something that is coming through really strong. If you follow them on social media, you might see in like a few weeks, like they post, you know, a gym glow up post or they show themselves, you know, off wearing like a, a kind of skimpy top or something where you can see the lines of their body because I feel like this person is just really grinding and using you as like motivation. So um, we got reversed back to what you love, reevaluate your desires and the heart of the matter. There is more that going on than meets the eye. So interesting. I feel like this person yeah, I feel like this is just a message from spirit that they need to kind of focus on their feelings for you and not let it make them so self-conscious. Um, and yeah, so it's interesting. I don't mean to skip over these, but the next card we got is hostilities. And excuse me if you can hear my air conditioner shut on again. I love it when electronics do random stuff during my readings, but hopefully you guys can't hear. Um, so I feel like this person, I, I'm not surprised we got hostilities just because I feel like their view of you sometimes they will make it negative to make themselves feel better, you know, but spirit like knows the truth and spirit is like, mm -mm, no, no, you, you can't lie to us. We know what's going on behind that. It's kind of like, you know, like a jealous person or something like, you know, when you'll hear like someone said, the only people that talk bad about a woman are women who are jealous because they can't be as good as her or a man who's mad because he can't have her like sexually or in a relationship and i feel like that's true like this that's the energy like this person is a little bit like looking at you under a microscope almost because they don't feel like they measure up, you know? So it's almost like a competitive energy. I feel like this person is trying to work to become on your level a little bit. Like, again, I feel like you guys might have had this relationship where like, it wasn't the type of courtship where it was like, I want to be with you, my lady. And here's roses and love poems and stuff. Like it wasn't that it was more like, Ugh, your hair looks so bad today, but it was like a flirty type of relationship. But, um, but yeah, like I feel like this person kind of has that as their go-to response. It's almost like when they're getting a little emotional, they go to like, well, let me, let me throw some barbs or let me kind of, let me pretend like I don't care that much or let me kind of make up an insult to make it easier for my ego kind of a thing but we got woman holding a heart. So I do feel like this person has a lot of feelings for you. And again, they view you as someone who brings in a lot of like, almost like exoticism. Maybe you guys are from a different culture, different race, different ethnicity, or different country. Um, but 
I feel like there's there's you guys are like not that similar <laughs> and so it's like this person loves that about you I don't think they would ever admit that but they really are excited about that about you like um it's funny because I'm getting to mind like I went to Europe with my good friend and I'm like ethnically European you know um uh like Western European or whatever like way back because you know I'm American or whatever but so when we went to Europe, I, I went with my friend, my best friend who is Middle Eastern and she got so much attention and I was like, kind of like, hey, wait a minute, like, what the heck? I'm not chopped liver, but all these guys were like so into her and I, I mean, like good for her, you know, I'm her friend, so I'm going to cheer her on even if, you know, sometimes I'm like, well, I kind of thought he was cute. I wanted him to talk to me. But the thing is, is I felt like a lot of times they were so excited to see someone who wasn't European. And I was kind of like, hey, I'm coming back to my homeland and they, they'll be so thrilled to have me. Uh, no, they were like not, in I feel like because there's a lot of people who look European walking around in Europe. I mean, duh. So they were kind of like interested in, you know, someone who looks a little different. And that's the vibe I'm getting from this situation. Like, I feel like this person really likes the fact that you bring something new, that you are not like them. You know what I mean? In whatever way. It doesn't necessarily have to be about race or country or ethnicity, but I just feel like you guys bring um, something totally new to them and I feel like they like that about you like they like that you kind of broaden their horizons and also again I keep getting this feisty I don't know prickly vibe like I feel like you guys have like this almost tempestuous energy um, and I just realized I forgot to pull from the sexual tarot which I definitely want to get for you guys so let's see what cards come up how pile two's person views pile two so we got the five of wands. Is there another card? Oh, the emperor. Yeah, so I feel like this person really likes to be in control a little bit. Um, and we got the hierophant and the seven of pentacles. I feel like this person definitely likes to be in control and they like to feel powerful. So this person has a little bit of an ego and I do feel like sometimes they use... Um, the they use like it's like what wait what was I gonna say I don't even remember what I was gonna say about using but I feel like they how do I describe this energy they like to use this relationship to kind of get that fiery energy going for them and to fight and it makes them feel strong I guess is what I'm trying to say I don't know if that's the best way to describe it but it's kind of like they enjoy a little bit of conflict they enjoy the thrill of the chase they enjoy kind of like a little bit dominating over someone and I feel like they like that with you like you guys are a little bit of a challenge they feel like there's a part of you that they feel like they can't tame like i'm hearing can't be tamed by miley cyrus so i feel like they view you as and again like i feel like this is part like some of you guys there has to be someone who is dating someone outside their culture race whatever because i keep getting it so strongly um i feel like they kind of like the fact that they feel like maybe you wouldn't be the type that they're supposed to be with like or or people wouldn't expect you guys to be together or that maybe people from your background would be like hey what are you guys doing together or people from their background would be saying the same thing like oh no you're supposed to date this kind of person you know what i mean so they really like that you guys are like outside the box but i just feel like this person is not going to come forward to you until they're in a very powerful position um they want to be the one who is kind of the top dog in the relationship and i just feel like financially right now they are not in that situation but i think that they really see you as a challenge they really see you as someone who um like again brings that like 
exciting, like almost like verbal sparring and battle type energy. Like I feel like you guys would, if you guys were together, it would be that type of relationship that you guys were always kind of like arguing, but it would almost be like foreplay, you know, <laughs> where um, you would say to the person like, that dress looks or that shirt looks really stupid on you and then the other person would be like oh really and that dress looks good and then it'd be like back and forth but it's kind of like your way of flirting and kind of your way of like again foreplay or you guys might end up having sex afterwards and it'd be like wild sex but this person definitely is a little bit dominant definitely likes to kind of like be on top and take that how it resonates uh and they are yeah they're definitely very a strong energy coming through with that there's a lot of strong sexual desire but um but i don't know i think that right now it's not they're not going to come forward anytime soon and they would want to come forward once they are very powerful and they don't feel very powerful right now they don't feel as powerful and they don't like to feel vulnerable and they don't like to feel less than they don't like to feel like they are the kind of submissive or subordinate one in the relationship so i don't think they would step forward towards you until they had like the money on point and the power on point and everything and then they would love to come to you and be like hey climb in my Lamborghini baby and have you be like oh my god and really like intimidated by them but they like the fact that you kind of give them a little bit of a hard time I feel or that they just feel with you that again like in a way it's like if, if people would say you guys aren't supposed to be together or wouldn't think you guys would end up together that excites them more because they're like well I'll show you guys I'm gonna get who I want and I want them so yeah, there's a lot of sexual desire. I just think this person needs to work on themselves a little. And they are, but I don't know if they're going in the right direction. I don't know if we need more like gym time and money or maybe just some emotional maturity would be better. But, you know, but I think that that they are working on themselves. So maybe it will involve therapy. We can only hope. But... <laughs> Um, I really hope that helped you guys. Please let me know if it resonated. I am curious about this pile and all the vibes I was getting. So please let me know if it resonated. I am sending you guys so much love and light. Have an amazing day, guys. Bye. Hello, my lovely pile threes. So if you guys picked this sushi roll, this is going to be your reading. I'm honestly not quite sure which fish this is. I think it might be uni, but it could also be eel or maybe even crawfish. I've had crawfish rolls before, but it was covered in sauce. Kind of looked like that, but I really don't know what it could be. So if you have any thoughts, please let me know. Um, I'm all ears. But anyway, let's get into your reading. I pre-pulled some cards, so let's get into it. You guys got Knight of Cups. You got the Wheel of Fortune reversed and the Hermit. So I'm getting a really creative vibe really strongly. I feel like you guys are the type to kind of keep to yourself, like almost like that stereotypical art kid a little bit where you guys are like the type of person to really do your own thing and you're not really someone who necessarily feels like you have to run with the crowd or who feels like you have to get everyone else's approval i feel like you guys would have you might have like an unusual interest like i don't know like doctor who or something that's almost like its own like fandom or whatever and i feel like you guys kind of live in like two dimensions like you guys have your foot in reality but you guys are also in this very creative world at the same time and you don't really care if people think what you're interested in is lame or uncool because you know as long as you can kind of have that both feet in like a fantasy world real world you're happy you guys might read a lot or watch a lot of movies or be very into like a certain musical genre and again you guys aren't the type to be concerned if it's like unpopular like if someone was like well i think this type of music is lame or uncool you'd be like okay and <laughs> why would i care you know so i really respect that because i feel like it took me a long time to reach that point but you guys have already figured that out i'm kind of getting like aquarius vibes possibly also pisces vibes very much like pisces aquarius cusp or maybe you guys are pisces sun with major aquarius planet or vice versa but 
It's like this combination of being very much an individual who does their own thing with this very creative side, but it's also got this protective aspect of not really caring so much if people think it's lame or what people have to say. So this person really likes that about you. I feel like they find that very exciting. Like you guys, I'm getting the vibes of, I don't know, almost like a bad boy or a bad girl from a movie that like, you know how like, They'll be b the bad boy in the movie, but he like reads poetry <laughs> and he's like in a leather jacket, but he like reads poetry and he, you know, like is a photographer or something like that's kind of like you guys. I don't really know which characters would embody that. Maybe I don't really watch Riverdale at all, but I think from what I've heard, like Jughead is kind of that. I, I, I don't know for sure, but or maybe like, I don't know, Edward from Twilight or something, but no offense if you hate those characters but i just feel like you guys would be that type of person that it's like not like you guys are like people respect you and they also see you as kind of brave someone who does their own thing someone who doesn't really care what other people think but it's not like you're like a dumb jock or someone who's just smoking outside and doesn't care about anything intellectual like you guys are very intellectually minded but you also are very much um someone who really just goes away from the crowd doesn't care about others approval you know what i mean so there's that real combination of kind of like a badass a little bit with being very creatively minded so we also got action and l envy so i feel like there's a lot of people who are envious of you guys like i feel like there are a lot of people that probably don't really understand you or even react badly towards you and maybe like again i feel like you guys put off like a create like a sorry charismatic vibe like you guys have this kind of mystery about you or this is what this person perceives you as is having this kind of mystery to you like you guys again i'm seeing like the like a guy in a classroom who's got like a leather jacket on but again reads poetry and like knows like ancient greek poems or like 1800s love sonnets or something and so it's like this really cool combination of being someone who marches to the beat of their own drum and is kind of anti-authoritarian but is also very intellectual and very emotional at the same time very creative very emotional so kind of like a very potent combination and i feel like a lot of people may be jealous of this charisma you guys put out like you guys just might be that person that randomly provokes that in other people like i'll notice people who are really attractive and have the chari charisma just coming off them energetically um a lot of times we'll get like random haters and i mean like just random haters like the guy who works at the gas station counter will be like randomly rude or you know the waitress who like you you're perfectly nice but she's got a totally bad attitude or if you are that waitress your customer you know will just be like rude 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 and it's because a lot of times you'll provoke jealousy in people who are more lower vibrational um because they're not gonna be like oh my god i'm so excited for you that you're so charismatic and you're gonna have this amazing life because of it they're gonna be upset that like why didn't i have that gift and so i feel like you guys may provoke envy in other people or that's how this person perceives you as so we also got valley shields cup sunrise which says new creative ideas so there there's that creativity confirmation and we got kite so with the shield thing i think you guys are somewhat protected from other people's energy you guys have this energy about you that you really just don't care if don't if people don't like you you are not someone who is desperate for people's approval or is like please like approve me like me like you guys are even though you guys are sensitive and creative you have this inner defense up and i feel like you guys might have some spiritual protection or something because of that um I also think because you guys are the hermit, like it's like, again, 
you kind of are not super upset if someone doesn't like you because you like your own company anyway and so you're like oh i wasn't invited to that party oh, okay cool i don't want to go anyway you know and so again you guys are somewhat protected from it and it just doesn't bother you as much if someone is going to hate on you which i think gives you a lot of protection we got wish wisely and we got light so i think it's interesting because wheel of fortune um being upside down wheel of fortune has to do with jupiter and luck and making wishes and stuff and then we got wish wisely but i feel like since it's reversed again maybe you guys have this kind of bad luck around you or it seems like you guys have like obstacles but I, I i also feel like you guys have the protection and we got shield so i feel like even if things don't go right at first you guys are able to kind of persevere but it might manifest for some of you as being really lucky and for others as being unlucky because these are kind of opposite cards so i feel like you're gonna have to take it as it resonates um because i'm not really getting guidance from spirit on it going one way or the other although i feel like you guys a lot of times are lucky or maybe it's like you're unlucky in some ways but you always manage to catch a break or get through it or something um but this person perceives you as someone who i feel like you guys have a lot of like funny things happen to you it's kind of like i'm seeing that you know the meme or whatever about being the main character like i feel like you guys really are the main character like you guys will have people just randomly react to you so strongly just your existence is like people are paying attention people are interested in whatever you guys have going on and kind of see you as like being in the spotlight and then we got light so i also think you guys exude like a strong inner light some of you guys might be like fairy energy or interdimensional beings of some kind because i feel like again you have your feet in like either realm like you guys are here but you're also kind of like head in the clouds thinking creatively which is kind of interdimensional like spirituality channeling so some of you guys might be painters artists writers musicians but i just feel like i get this super strong creative vibe from you or you're the type of people who just read a lot like you get home from school or work and you're automatically reading you are listening to a lot of music but i feel like your mind just works in a super creative way and i think this person finds it super alluring we also got oh the sacred woman so yeah you guys they they just see you as having this like spiritual um very like very alluring quality like powerful potent quality to you um that is kind of like spiritual and divine i do feel like maybe you guys are interdimensional or are from another dimension because yeah with the sacred woman it's really about someone who is very spiritually aware and a lot of times that happens with the creativity that's why they're both in neptune and in the cups so i feel like you guys are very spiritually channelers kind of and you give off that energy and people sense that about you so we got attraction so this person is very attracted to you but i feel like a lot of people are attracted to you um i'm i keep seeing effie from skins i think that was her name i know she was played by kaya scodelario i don't know if i'm saying her name right but she's you know a beautiful actress and i full disclosure watched skins a long time like i was like i don't know it was like 10 years ago or something so i fully don't remember what happened with that character and so don't be mad at me if like she did something horrible or she was like a really evil character in the end because what i'm just getting is like i remember she like all these guys had a crush on her and she was also like a rebel like she did her own thing but she was also kind of creative she wasn't just a rebel who was like going outside and like kicking cans around and like lighting things on fire and you know for no reason it was like she was a very artistic kind of tortured soul and i'm not getting tortured souls vibe so much but just that you guys are very creative but you have this kind of anti-authority or badass quality and i also feel like you guys have like a fashion sense on point like i feel like that fashion from skins at that time it was very like british 
I don't know, British schoolgirl, but like badass. And I, I could see some of you guys dressing that way where maybe you guys wear like some plaids or it's just interesting fashion. I feel like you guys would have a very interesting fashion sense that's avant-garde and kind of your own thing. Like you guys might be a trendsetter that people look to as like, what did they wear? Oh, they wore this today. Oh, I'm gonna try that. Where can I find that? Maybe I should go online and you know what I mean? So we also got chaos and conflict reversed and new life so i feel like you guys have people come at you with like weird energy again i keep getting that that there is like jealousy weird behavior around you and i think you know since we got chaos and conflict but it is reverse it's not coming from your side it's coming from other people where they just have a reaction towards you again that i think comes from insecurity and so if you guys met this person in a setting where there was like i don't know some cattiness directed towards you or maybe you were in conflict with your coworkers, or maybe you were in school and there was a group of other students that didn't like you or you were just going out to the bars or something and I don't know, people were rude to you. This person definitely views it as not your fault and as the result of jealousy. So if you were kind of ever embarrassed about something like that happening or worried about like, oh, will they judge me for not having that many friends or for like not going out that much no this person actually really respects that about you and they see you as very like high caliber and so they kind of are not surprised that you wouldn't be finding a ton of people to like you or appreciate you because it's like that's just the life of being high caliber you know and that's how they see it as like you stick out like in a good way but i'm hearing you stick out like a sore thumb and so they wouldn't expect you could just like go hang out at the mall with everyone else, you know, because you're just too unique for that. So the next cards we got are the slice and the roll, which is kind of cool because it's like the sushi roll. Um, and I feel like you guys are in a way very popular, but with the opposite sex kind of a thing or like like you provoke kind of jealousy in people because you might not realize this because you might be like well but i'm not invited to parties or i don't have a ton of friends but it's like you guys give off this energy that people are really fascinated by people are really interested in and i feel like again whatever kind of gender i guess you're into so whether it's the opposite sex or same sex but you have a lot of like sexual attention like you're popular with those people you might not be popular with people that don't want to date you because they're kind of view you as competition you know what i mean but for the people that you are interested in dating they are very like they find you very alluring and they find you very like sexually attractive so this person keeps talking about like competition and about you know the fact that a lot of people are kind of coming for you i'm hearing like coming for your crown so again i feel like you guys are just kind of like the top dog or that's how they perceive you and again i feel like you guys have this creative soft side but then you're also like you, you guys can stand up for yourself um and you guys are really powerful in that way so and speaking of that we got you are limitless you can do anything you choose so yeah this person sees you as super powerful i mean they just see you as like this kind of creative powerhouse of like bringing so much to the table so creative so much to offer and so they are just very impressed by you you also got receive with love and appreciation gracious acceptance is a way to show love i feel like some of you guys at least how this person perceives you as like almost destined for fame or for bigger things where they see you as like you know how you'll hear about like some famous actress or something and she was like born and raised in a small small town in like texas or wherever and people will say like oh well we always knew she was going to become a star or we always knew she was going to go to the big city or something like i feel like that's how they view you like you are destined to do something special do something different like you guys don't fit in but in a way of like because you guys are so much better not to sound bad or judgmental but that's just how what they're saying like you guys are so special and you guys bring so much more to the table 
excuse me if you can hear my air conditioner shutting on and off. I hate when that happens during readings, but anyway, I feel like sometimes they do that when they want to emphasize messages. So I guess they want you to really know that you guys are very special. So we also got give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. And also secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. I definitely think that that's this person or they or that they perceive you as not being as into them. I think they would be very surprised to hear that you guys are watching tarot videos about them because I think in their mind they really felt like you were just not into them or that why would you pay attention to them or that like you wouldn't be hung up on them because you probably have a million offers and you just guys also give off this kind of cool demeanor so i just feel like they know that you have a lot of emotions underneath but i feel like you guys aren't the type to show that to everyone which i think and i want to clarify is totally fine and healthy to have boundaries with how we express or how vulnerable we get with people um it's okay to wait until you know you know for sure about a person before you communicate with them but I just feel like this person really doesn't have any idea of how much or, or that you would be interested in them at all. Um, in their mind, you probably have like a million suitors, a million offers and probably a million cool things to do. Like you probably come off like one of those people who, you know how like in school or something, like sometimes there'll be like a kid who doesn't talk a lot. But then you ask them like, what are you doing this weekend? And they're like, oh, there's a rave in a like the town over and I'm going with all my friends from that school and you're like what how do you have like all these friends from this school and ha like a town over and how are you going to a rave and what like I didn't even know a rave was happening like you're going to like a warehouse party or something like I feel like they just imagine that you have that kind of a life where you are not the type to like shout it to the world but you're secretly doing all this fun cool stuff and they're very intimidated by that about you because I feel like you guys keep things very close to your chest but they really like that mystery about you again I keep getting that like bad boy vibes or like I don't know I loved the guy on Gilmore Girls, Tristan. I'm like the only one who cared about him. If you like Tristan, please leave it in the comments because no one else ever talks about him. But as a character, I love him. And I feel like I keep seeing him where like he was like the bad boy, but he was also really into like art and he was really emotional. And again, that's kind of how they view you as like, like a bad girl a little bit, but, or a bad boy, but kind of, like you have all these emotions under the surface you're not just a one-dimensional bad boy bad girl where you are um just lighting to li liking to cause chaos or going out and like you know just doing mindless stuff you guys are very intelligent you guys are very smart but you're just the type who would be bored at work or bored at school and you have kind of this secret life so we got the hermit again from sexual tarot and the ten of pentacles i feel like this person is probably convinced that you have a lot of other lovers or convinced that you guys are um in like another relationship with with someone else and probably like having really good sex with that person again this person sees you as being so worldly and like it's kind of like a compliment because I feel like this person is just convinced that you have this like amazing secret life and it's almost like the more they ask you what what did you do that weekend or something and you just say like nothing or you don't post on your Instagram or whatever the more they're convinced that you are secretly like doing amazing stuff you know so yeah this person is super um is super like the more you keep things a secret like you could probably just be like sitting at home eating ramen noodles or something um and they would in their mind they're probably like oh they're they're out at a secret party at a warehouse it's like an underground cool club that you have to have a password to enter like they think you have this like super badass life um but I feel like, again, it's because you you keep it a mystery and, and they just kind of fill in the blanks in their head and they're just like convinced that someone with your attitude and your vibe would be living this like super exciting, like exotic kind of life. Um, 
and again they see you as having a lot of sexuality a lot of sexual options like you just probably have people worshiping you at your feet you probably have like a model boyfriend that you keep a secret or a model girlfriend that you keep secret like they just see it as you are the type to keep everything on the down low but it's because you have a lot of cool stuff going on like you know how someone who's like in a celebrity relationship isn't allowed to talk about it or whatever and then you'll find out like months later like oh you were dating like Zac Efron or something like but the like if you're dating him you're not allowed to post a bunch of like selfies of the two of you you know like we just went on a hike and like you can't post that stuff you have to you know hide it if you're in one of those celebrity relationships and it becomes like weird and I feel like that's the thing is like because you guys don't put it all out there they just assume that you just have some amazing thing that you you're hiding for a reason you know so yeah they they're very intrigued by you they see you as being very mysterious in a very alluring type of way and having a lot of sexuality that you give off but being so creative um, I feel like a lot of you guys might be writers or painters or something I'm seeing someone covered in paint so you guys might paint or you're just doing other creative projects but I feel like you guys are very very creative vibes you guys might be into photography or you just are into like very intellectual pursuits maybe you guys read or write poetry or something like that those kinds of vibes or you go to poetry slams or you go to coffee houses but it's a very like bohemian type of energy and again I feel like you guys dress in really cool clothing that kind of reflects that like maybe you guys like to have that kind of bookish look like what is it called like library core or something <laughs> or librarian core or I don't know like Harry Potter core or so, but I'm seeing someone dressed in like kind of those English tweeds with like glasses and stuff and um, I feel like you guys just give off this kind of like intellectual intelligent vibe maybe you carry like a New Yorker bag or like a New York Times bag or something but you guys give off a vibe of like that person's smart and they probably read poetry and they probably read Nietzsche and they probably read philosophy so um, I feel like this person yeah they are very much a little intimidated by you and just they definitely think that you're not that into them um, and I think they'd be like fully shocked to know that you were watching videos about them they'd be like they think that about me uh what like i just feel like they are so impressed by you and again they they see so much mystery and it just intrigues them so um so yeah this is this is really like a cool vibe it's very interesting to tune into this energy um i feel like you guys in general i feel like this person isn't bsing all the way like it's not just in their head i think you guys really do give off this cool energy so kudos to you guys for being so alluring I mean it's very it's a very um cool energy to pick up on it's very I feel like maybe there should be like a, a movie made about your lifestyle or something you guys might be now you're getting me interested in the same way this person is I'm like hmm, who is this enigma but maybe you guys are just chilling on your own on the couch but whatever it is you guys are doing I feel like you just make it interesting by kind of your attitude your vibe whatever so I really hope that helped please let me know if it resonated I am interested in hearing what you guys have going on so please drop it down if this was accurate or if it wasn't whatever just let me know um, and make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications I post every few days so if you want to see more videos make sure you're subbed so you can find out when I post next but I will see you guys soon sending so much love and light to you guys have an amazing day bye hello my lovely pile fours so if you guys picked this row sushi this is going to be your reading i love these i think it's salmon row it's so good so it's a great choice i pre-pulled your cards and let's get right into it so we got oh these are all reversals which is funny because the deck i promise it was not like reverse i checked to see if it was upside down all reversals but anyway you guys got the ace of swords reverse lovers reversed ten of swords reversed the seven of swords reversed oh the fool is upright and i think the moon was upright as well 
although it might be reversed. Actually, I think it was reversed. So um, yeah, so I feel like this person, first of all, sees you as, I'm getting like a very calm energy, almost like intellectual energy. Like I feel like you guys are very smart and intelligent um, and kind of like dreamy, like you guys are kind of a little bit lost in your own world, but also very calm, very, um, not lost in your own world because I feel like you guys are still very rational, very able to figure things out. Like you guys are really smart, I guess, but um, but there's like this intellectual component. Like, you know, with really smart people, how sometimes you'll talk to them, it's like, and they're, they're like forgetting their keys or they're kind of like, oh uh, yeah, could you say that one more time? Because they're, a little bit in their heads like I feel like you guys are that way like you guys have this kind of genius type energy so at least that's how this person perceives you as um, so what are the other piles we got temptation reversed and fairy spotting reversed so I'm seeing these cards for the first time by the way but um so I feel like it's interesting that you guys are getting so many reversals. I kind of am like, what the heck is going on? Let me look at some other cards. We got Compass and we got a Bone Collector. So I feel like maybe this person sees a lot of things as being blocked for you or in your connection because again, the lovers is reversed. You guys have a ton of reversals. And I feel like what they're saying is that maybe there were some false starts or that they had imagined things would turn out differently um, and things were supposed to go a certain direction but then they didn't and they kind of have a lot of like memories of what could have been what should have been um there's also the aspect of like the moon being reversed where like sometimes when the moon card comes out that means we're acting under delusion or we're not seeing situations as clearly as we could and we're going on the wrong path. So I feel like this person, you know, it's kind of, they're saying that there was like false starts, like things should have worked out, but they didn't, you know, but like a different path happened and maybe that there was some element too of like deception or someone who lied who kept you guys apart. So it could have been, someone who interfered or meddled or gave you a wrong impression or something let's see what other cards come out so we got pineapple reconciliation owl good advice from a wise person dog dog close up pleasure with a close friend okay we got younger man dealings or relationships with a younger man bull do not back down from opposition show strength and fortitude so the male in this relationship could be younger than you and you might be older than them but only take what resonates it's just meant as like confirmation but again I feel like you guys the energy I'm getting so strongly is like this wise energy so the owl coming out like sums up your energy so strongly I feel like you guys give off this very like mature kind of even if this person's older than you I just feel like intellectually you just seem more mature than the vast majority of people like you guys seem very wise Wise, very kind of calm like you guys are just smart you guys just know how to like handle almost any given situation you know um, and so yeah I feel like also this person might be really into your hair like they might you might have really beautiful luscious hair or something but I feel like they are attracted most of all to your wisdom like you guys have this very wise vibe so we got the Sun and we also got, wow, oh, we got the worlds and we like, wow, and the world is reversed. So yeah, this person really views you as just incredible. You know, I w I'm not surprised whenever we see the lovers that this there's really strong emotions coming out. I mean, that's the ultimate soulmate card. So I feel like this person does have strong feelings for you. I'm not surprised that they see you as the sun and as the source of light. But I feel like they just keep talking about why this relationship didn't work out. They're very upset that it didn't work out. And so... I, I, I kind of, it annoys me in readings when I'm like, how do you feel about this person? And they're like, I'm so upset. I just want her back. And I'm like, okay, but I asked you <laughs> how you felt. I didn't ask about your emotions, no offense, but that's another reading. But you know, a lot of times when those emotions are super strong, it's almost like 
that's all their spirit guides can focus on. It's all, it's kind of like if you've ever had someone like ask you about your day and you're having a horrible day and the person's like, hey, how are you? And you're like, oh, it's just horrible. Oh my God, I, I failed the test and then this. And the person's like, ah, oh, well, I was just being polite. But you know, it's like you finally had that opportunity to say your side of things. So I feel like this person just wants to communicate how much they first of all reminisce about the memories you guys have a lot and they're very upset that you guys aren't together we got creativity so like i said you guys have this intellectual kind of creative vibe um i feel like you guys are creative but in a different way from pile three who was also creative but you guys are more like intellectuals like you guys are really really smart i'm getting some of you guys might have really high iqs like if you've ever been tested for that you guys probably scored really high or got really good grades in school like i feel like you know sometimes people have a really hard time showing off their intelligence and obviously there's all different kinds of intelligence there's even like bodily intelligence so someone can be a really good athlete and be really bad at math and stuff and be really smart in a different way because they know how to move their body and stuff in the right way but you guys are very book smart as well like you guys know how to do well you guys are disciplined you guys aren't that stereotype of you know someone who's really smart but can't apply themselves or whatever it's like you guys have that covered so we also got the two of pentacles we got the queen of pentacles and we got the four of wands so yeah this person really envisioned a future with you long term like even a wedding i feel like they they really wanted like everything with you um they just see you as being like a queen energy and also being super grounded and down to earth you guys might be earth or air air energy i'm kind of getting both so it could be capricorn it could be virgo it could be definitely like virgo is strong because virgo is kind of both because it's ruled by mercury it's kind of both earth and air um you guys could be what's the other earth sign um capricorn did i say that um taurus and then and then you could be gemini um oh my god aquarius or what is the final air sign? Libra. Oh my God. Sorry. Um, one of my best friends is Libra. And so she would be mad at me for forgetting. But yeah, so you guys have a very intellectual side of you. You guys are really good at thinking things through. Then we got the steeped one and the page of sides, which shows a thing of green beans. So I feel like you guys you guys might drink a lot of coffee or tea i'm getting like i feel like i am seeing like you know i at least i watch these videos but you can listen to like asmr or it's not asmr but it's just it'll be like rain in a coffee shop or something or rain in a bookshop or something and that's literally what i'm seeing in my mind i feel like that's like your aesthetic or the vibe this person gets of you is they just see you as being very like intelligent very smart and they're very attracted to that I feel like they just see you as like a great partner and they're attracted to kind of like the bookish i'm i'm seeing like a naughty librarian or something like i feel like or like a naughty teacher or something like i feel like this person really likes the fact that you guys are smart and you're not like they like that vibe they like that you guys seem smarter than them in a way or at least that's how they perceive you as as being you know very intellectual so we got soulmates oh my god and i was going to put it right over the lovers but i'm gonna leave the lovers since you know it's in sync so you guys really might be soulmates again this person is feeling such a deep sense of loss i can really feel it in the reading i was just thinking like okay damn i'm gonna have to take a salt bath after this reading because sometimes i can do a bunch of readings and they're really like light-hearted and you're kind of like oh okay i feel good afterwards you know i don't have to like super do a super deep cleanse of myself but this reading is coming in so strong that i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to do a very intense salt bath and i only say that because it's just like 
that is the depth of this person's emotions. They are coming in really strong, really hot. They really want you to know how much they cared about you. And whenever that happens, it's like they're almost shouting in your ear. They're like, say that, tell her, tell her that. And I'm like, I, I, I can only do so much. I'm only the messenger. But they want you to know how much they care about you and how much of a sense of loss they feel without you poised that is so your guys's energy oh my god that is the perfect de like description of you guys i feel like you guys just have it all together or that's how they view you and it's like they view you as someone that can really benefit their life i'm getting for some of you maybe this person cheated or made a mistake if you guys were in a real relationship or messed up somehow um but they're, they're pointing to some aspect of like somewhat, there was some dishonesty or something that broke you guys apart and they're very upset about it and they're kind of beating themselves up, angry at someone else. I don't know exactly what, I mean, that's not really the point of this reading. So I'm not going to get too deep into it because we're getting into the emotions, but yeah, so power, you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. I feel like you guys are very strongly in your power. You guys are powerful and you know it and you guys aren't going to tolerate bad behavior and you are very smart. Like you guys aren't, you know, when you hear like someone just being dumb in a relationship and maybe their partner cheats on them 20 times and every time they're like, I didn't mean to cheat. I, I, I was trying to... Um, I was trying to teach them how to make a cappuccino so I went over to their place and um, and then we were having sex and I didn't mean it like you know what I mean and you're like how do you even believe this this is this is this has happened so many times and come on just be smart about it and you guys are not that type you guys are definitely the type to be very intelligent about how you handle your relationships and like honor your own dignity you guys have a lot of dignity coming through really strongly and this person really respects that about you chemistry so you guys maybe have a lot of chemistry have a very strong kind of banter sexual energy running back and forth between you and back to what you love reevaluate your desires and take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. So this person really wants you to come back to them and to give it another chance. So I don't know what the circumstances are and this is a general reading. So there's gonna be some people that had a full-fledged relationship, others who had a situationship or even just a crush. But either way, um, you know, this is something where this person is wanting you to come back into their life. This person is really missing your presence. Um, and they are so impressed by your mind. That's just coming in really strong that they think you're so smart. Like, I feel like they are just very attracted to that. Maybe they're even like a sapiosexual or someone who is attracted to people's brains. Um, you know, like not, not literally physical brain, but like um, they're, you know, intellectually they're attracted to someone's intellectualism so i feel like you guys they just see you as someone who really has your ish together you know you guys probably would make a really good parent because you guys aren't dumb i just keep getting like not dumb you know like i feel like you guys aren't the type to fall for the bs you guys aren't the type to be out at the club like hanging on the words of the neighborhood Sorry guys, I decided to blot that word out because I don't know if YouTube is okay with it, but I was saying the neighborhood F boy. You guys aren't the type to fall for, you know, someone who is not really meaning it and who is just kind of slick. You guys aren't the ones to fall into that trap. You guys are very intelligent and you really know what you want in this life. And this person really respects that about you. They really respect that you guys kind of have your stuff together a little bit, you know? And so I feel like this person, they just really want to ask you for a reconciliation. They just really want you to come back to them. You know, they're really missing you and they're feeling kind of the consequences of not having you in their life. Let me ask them if I can get any more messages from this person about how they view you. 
I'm just hearing like you guys have it all. So maybe you guys are very attractive. Maybe you guys are the type of person who has, you know, every aspect of your life on point. Like, you know, when you'll hear those stories from like a celebrity or an influencer or something and they're like, my daily schedule, I wake up at 7 a.m. I have a green juice. I go to the gym for 45 minutes and I do my elaborate 10 point skincare routine then I you know eat like my organic blah 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 and you're just like oh my god how do you even have time to do all this in the day I feel like that's how they perceive you kind of as like you guys have your stuff on point you guys are not running around in a chaotic energy or a mess about things you guys are very much like you got it handled, kind of like Olivia Pope energy. Like, and so this person really respects that about you. I feel like even if you guys have a lot on your plate, um, you guys are able to handle it really seamlessly. Like you guys are not a mess or anything. And I feel like this person, again, I'm hearing like wife material, husband material. Like I feel that this person so respects how you, um, how you run your life and I keep seeing like children so I feel like maybe they imagined having kids with you or they think you would make a good parent or maybe you have kids of your own and this person sees how you handle them and they just are like wow if we had kids together they would do they would be so great like they would handle kids so well or they would get along so well with my kids or whatever um, but this person, like, th they keep bringing up children. So I feel like young children or... So it's kind of like that's their my spirit sign of like, okay, so it's not that you guys necessarily were childhood sweethearts, although you could have been because that energy does come up in readings. But it's more so that they see you as someone who would make a great parent or a great mom or a great dad um like again i'm not surprised because you guys seem to really manage things really well and i feel like you guys just never let people see you sweat like you guys even though you're doing a million and one things you're the type that always like makes yourself look presentable you guys you're not the type to have like a breakdown in public or be like, I can't do this. Even if you're feeling that way, you probably keep it close to your chest. You probably are like, no, it's fine. And you don't really show a lot of vulnerability, but you're very calm in general. I feel like I don't feel like you're the type to have a total meltdown in the car, even in private. Like I feel like you guys are the type that really just tries to keep yourself really managed or that's how this person perceives you. Um, and so they're very attracted to you in that sense. They very much they very much respect kind of the image you have. I feel like a lot of people respect you in your town or in your work or the people around you really respect you and this person really likes that about you. Like to them, you are the opposite of like a jump off material. You know, you are like a long-term girlfriend, boyfriend, or spouse material. Like you are the type of person that they would want to kind of settle down with. Because again, you present this amazing image to the world and they really respect that. And they can see how that really would benefit them from just being around that. I feel like they could even learn a lot from you. You guys have like a teacher energy. So maybe one of your destinies in this lifetime was to be a teacher. But this person goes through their memories that they have over you a lot. They just kind of rehash it, you know? And yeah, this person sees you as having a very intellectual like I'm literally seeing someone in like a sweater vest like in a library like reading books I'm not saying that's you guys but I just feel like that is like your energy where you guys are just super smart you guys have so much happening mentally and this person is just really excited by it you know maybe they have like I don't know a teacher fantasy or something but they really love that you guys are kind of buttoned up you guys are not raunchy you guys aren't the type to be out dancing on tables and you know flashing anyone not that there's anything wrong with that at all but this person does not like that they they like more of your energy they love the fact that you guys are like an intellectual that you guys are intelligent smart and i feel like yeah it's like that just adds to them this other intellectual component with you where they feel like um, they feel like the fact that you guys 
are that way just makes them just makes you more exciting it makes you more of a challenge it makes you more exciting and they feel very sexually attracted to you um there's also the aspect of soulmates so you guys might have known each other in another lifetime um you guys might have decided to meet up you know in this life on the astral realm you guys might have made a pledge of like I'll see it's kind of like how we say you know I'll see you at seven at the movie theater it's like I will see you at seven at you know age 27 um in Wisconsin in this town and we'll be in the same workplace or whatever you know what I mean like you you schedule that stuff and maybe you guys had that kind of connection but they keep talking about false starts we got the ace of cups reversed so I feel like they just feel like you guys should have had something bigger than you did like it was it was supposed to be bigger is what I'm hearing like it was supposed to be it was supposed to be more than what it turned into and then we got the three of cups reversed which does point to like a third party so I don't know like um this person I don't know if they cheated or there was a third party uh, that or they were flirting with someone else and you were aware of it or I don't know because I feel like you guys aren't the type to put up with garbage so it wouldn't even need to be like some huge transgression they wouldn't need to cheat on you like 50 times for you to be like I'm out you know probably if they like were really flirty with someone else you'd just be like okay that's that's enough because you guys really know your worth we also got the high priestess so you guys might be very spiritually inclined you guys might kind of collect crystals or just I'm getting like a very calm almost like spiritual leader energy but I feel like some of you you guys might not be into some of the metaphysical crystal energy but some of you might so I think it's kind of split in this reading but I feel like you guys just carry off that high priestess kind of calm powerful you know the high priestess has her power that is so frightening and terrifying but she doesn't need to have a sword or a gun or anything physically intimidating about her all her power is just in her mind and in her you know her spirit and the the powerful spirituality she has and i feel like that's like you guys like even though you guys aren't maybe the most intimidating person to pass on the street like it's not like people are going to walk past you and like run across the street because they're like oh my god that person is so huge and they just look so tough but you guys exude this power and when someone gets to know you they can tell that you guys are really a force to be reckoned with in your life and you're like handling so many things i keep hearing it's handled by like olivia pope so i feel like you guys have kind of a similar energy to hers where she's just always very calm but even sometimes she's going through a crisis but she would never let people know she would never be you'd never catch olivia pope like running around looking a total mess disheveled with like you know mud on her clothes and she hasn't washed in three days and she's just kind of like you know still tipsy from the night before and she's you know making a bad impression or whatever like she might be going through the worst thing in the world but she's always going to come in looking good handling herself and acting really calm even if she is freaking out on the inside and i feel like that's like you guys like you guys are just very poised you have so much dignity and this person is super attracted to that they like the fact that you're not a mess and that you guys just kind of you guys know what you're doing you know so i really hope that resonated please let me know if it did i love your guys's energy i could learn a lot from this and being a little more poised but um please let me know if it resonated guys and make sure to like and subscribe i read all your comments so let me know if you guys have any suggestions for readings or let me know what you thought of the reading just you know let me know in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys again in a few days with my next video sending you guys so much love and light have an amazing day guys bye